Every morning when we wake up, we need to empty out anything negative from the day before. Somebody offended you at work. They didn't treat you right. It's easy to let that offense stay. Feels good to carry around a grudge. But you have to be disciplined. Say, no, I am not giving this offense any room. I am not going to let it sour my day. Get up in the morning and invite good things into your life. I am blessed. I am strong. I am talented. I am disciplined. I am focused. I am prosperous. Take inventory of what you're giving space to. Life is too short to go through it with negative things holding us down. When you wake up in the morning, say thank you for grace. Thank you for mercy. Thank you for understanding. Thank you for wisdom. Thank you for parents. Thank you for love. Thank you for kindness. Thank you for humility. Thank you for peace. Thank you for prosperity. Say thank you in advance for what's already yours. Say thank you in advance for what is already yours. We all have negative emotions, negative feelings. You have to make the choice. I'm not going to give this jealousy, this bitterness, this anger, valuable space and let it poison my life. I'm going to protect what I allow in me. What follows these two simple words will determine what kind of life you live. Every day on the right side of the grass is a good day. Get up, get excited, be happy. Discipline is the gateway to freedom. The I am's that are coming out of your mouth will bring either success or failure. The universe can only respond to what you believe about yourself and about life. All through the day, the power of I am is at work. We make a mistake. I am so clumsy. We look in the mirror. I am so old. We see somebody very talented. I am so average. We get caught in traffic. I am so unlucky. Many times we use the power of I am against us. We don't realize how it's affecting our future. Here's the principle. What follows the I am will always come looking for you. You get to choose what follows the I am. When you go through the day saying, I am blessed, blessings come looking for you. I am talented talent comes looking for you. You may not feel up to par, but when you say, I am healthy, health starts heading your way. I am strong, strength starts tracking you down. You're inviting that into your life. That's why you have to be careful what follows the I am. The time to enjoy yourself is in the now. You're trying to get to that next level. It is your right to enjoy yourself. And now you're probably looking at me and you're all thinking, and some of you might be saying, you know what, Steve, that makes sense. Okay, make a choice, enjoy myself. But how do you get to enjoy yourself when you are trying everything? You're implementing all the tools and all the information you got, but it's just not working. I'm seeing other people passing me by. How do you get to enjoy yourself, Steve, when some of the people are having really intense problems at home? Some people are going through a divorce. They're having financial difficulties. Maybe there's an illness in the family. You tell me, Steve, how you are supposed to enjoy yourself when all these things are happening to you in your life. Here is how you can assure yourself to enjoy yourself during the process of whatever it is you're trying to achieve. I want you to get this because it starts as soon as you open up your eyes in the morning or whenever it is that you start the day. As soon as you open up your eyes to greet the day, you enter into consciousness. It is at that moment that your creativity is at its most powerful. Right there and then, you have an opportunity to steer your thoughts and your emotions in the direction that you want them to go, not in the direction that they're telling you to go. In other words, you can literally choose to seize the day or you can let the day seize you. That's a choice. I think you can all agree that too many people, too many people today 
soon as they open up their eyes, the first thing that they focus on is all the grueling stuff they had to go through the day before, all the stuff that didn't get accomplished, all the stuff that didn't get done, the irate people that they had to deal with. And they can't even understand that they just started, they didn't even start to achieve their goals and their energy level is down here. With what you're trying to do, with what you are all trying to accomplish, man, your energy level better be cranked. It has to be up here. So what I want you to do, as soon as you open up your eyes to start the day, is to immediately start focusing on something or someone that you are totally grateful for in your life. Your only goal, as soon as you open up your eyes, is to be to make yourself feel good and to give yourself enough confidence to get through the day. Don't worry about what needs to be done. Think about who you have to be in order to get it done. And you do this by focusing on all the things that you're grateful for. Focus on what's working in your life rather than fixating on what isn't working. Maybe you're grateful for the person that's lying next to you. Maybe you're thinking of your children. Maybe it's a dog lying on the side of your bed. Maybe you're listening to the birds outside your window. It's the wonderful house you live in. Maybe it's the wonderful organization that you belong to. It doesn't matter what it is. You just feel it with your heart and soul. You build from there and you keep going. Why do I want you to do this? Because gratitude is the most powerful connection you have to your higher self. You always, always want to start your day connected to this higher self. And when you do, when you do, life becomes easier. You don't take things personally. When you're confronted with a challenge, you just look at it for what it's worth. It's a challenge. Everybody's confronted with challenges. And you know that there's something within you that can meet it and overcome it and move forward as a result of it. And the next thing that I want you to do, as soon as you have this attitude of gratitude going for you, tell yourself you're going to enjoy the day. Say it to yourself, you know what, I'm going to enjoy the day. This is going to be a good day. Visualize how you want your life to go. Visualize yourself having fun with your fellow workers, the people you're working for, who are working for you. Doesn't matter. Just visualize yourself achieving the goal. And always, always find the laughter within you and around you every day of your life. And that should start in the morning before you leave the house. As Mark Twain said, the secret to getting ahead is getting started. And that's something I want all of you guys to really embody and really think about and really put at the core of your existence. That step number one to accomplishing whatever it is that you want to do is actually getting started. And I understand, I know the thing that holds you back. I know the thing that is absolutely paralyzing for people is you don't think that you have what it takes to go out and be good. And rather than face that difficult, brutal process of growing and getting better and quite frankly facing your inadequacies, it's easier just to sit back. But as John Wooden said, never let what you cannot do interfere with what you can. There is something right now that you're capable of. There is an innate skill inside of you that's your spark. It's that starting point. It's that thing that while you may not be the best in the world at it, it's a flame that you can fan. It's something that you can breathe life into and really begin to get good. But first you have to understand the very nature of progress. And that's as Stephen Covey said, you're not the product of your circumstances but rather a product of your decisions. And it's those decisions that are going to allow you to build that skill set. So don't worry about where you started. Don't worry about what you already have. Remember, it's the decisions that you make. It's going down that road. It is the decision to get started. It's the decision to face possible failure. It's the decision to get up once you failed. And it's the decision of what to learn when you fail. Do you learn that you're not good enough? Do you learn that you never should have tried? Or do you learn a lesson from the failure and get up and brush yourself off and remember that at the end of the day, you're going to go as far as you're willing to fight for, and that's it. And if you're willing to fight to go all the way, then you will go that far. You will set a new bar. You will define for people what is possible. You become that beacon of hope. You become that thing that other people look to as the standard. But at the end of the day, it started with you getting started. It started with you showing up. It started with you pushing and trying. So get out there. Don't worry about what you have and what you are. Focus on who you want to become 
and the price you're willing to pay to get them.